सब्सक्राइब कीजिए धे आई चैनल को और बेल आइकन को दबाइए लेटेस्ट वीडियो सबसे पहले देखने के लिए Followed by the Janta curfew on 22nd of March, most of the states of the country from 23rd of March have implemented lockdown due to the massive spread of coronavirus. This lockdown will continue till 31st of March 2020. In today's DNS, we will know about lockdown, what all facilities and services will be available during this time period. After the Janta curfew on 22nd of March, that is Sunday, most of the states of the country took the center's advice to enforce a full lockdown in its districts to contain the spread of COVID-19 that is the coronavirus the orders to lock down the states are under the epidemic disease act of 1897 states forbid the gathering of more than 5 people at a place the borders of the states have been sealed forbidding public transport people who come out to provide or avail essential services shall be allowed on the self declaration any congregation of more than 5 persons is strictly prohibited and punishable people are required to stay at home and come out only for basic services while strictly following social distancing guidelines issued earlier all employees of private establishments required to stay at home in view of this order shall be treated as on duty and be paid in full if any violations of the orders are found strict actions shall be prosecuted under relevant sections of the IPC the facilities services and establishments that will be available during this lockdown period are officers charged with law and order and magisterial duties police health fire prison fair prices shops that is the pds system electricity water municipal services activities related to functioning of legislative assembly of delhi pay and accounts officer print and electronic media cashier or tailor operations of bank telecom internet and postal services e-commerce of all essential goods including food pharmaceutical and medical equipments food items groceries etc milk plants general provision stores take away or home delivery in restaurants chemist and pharmacies petrol pumps lpg or oil gas agencies animal fodder manufacturing processing transportation distribution storage trade and commerce and logistics related to all above services or establishments and commodities required for delivery of those above services will be available now let us know about the epidemic disease act of 1897 the regulations under the epidemic disease act of 1897 have been rolled out due to the excess increase of corona virus cases in the country including death of seven people the epidemic diseases act is routinely enforced across the country for dealing with outbreaks of diseases such as swine flu dengue and cholera this act was introduced by the colonial government to tackle the epidemic of bubonic plague that had spread in the erstwhile bombay presidency in the 1890s using powers within this act colonies authorities would search suspected plague cases in homes and among passengers with forcible segregations evacuations and demolitions of infected places in 1897 the law was enforced it is a one page act consisting of four sections it aims to provide for the better prevention of the spread of dangerous epidemic diseases section 2 empowers state governments and union territories to take special measures and formulate regulations for containing the outbreak section 3 provides penalties for disobeying and regulation or order made under the act these are according to section 188 of the indian penal code disobedience to order duly promulgated by public servant section 4 gives legal protection to the implementing officers acting under the act this act has been implemented in various states of the country to deal with different diseases some of them are in the year 2018 
in Gujarat's Vadodara, a notification was issued under the Act declaring a village area as cholera affected after 31 persons complained of symptoms of the disease. In the year 2015, to deal with malaria and dengue in Chandigarh, the Act was implemented and controlling officers were instructed to ensure the issuance of notices and chalans of Rs 500 to offenders. In the year 2009, to tackle swine flu outbreak in Pune, Section 2 powers were used to open screening centers in civic hospitals across the city and swine flu was declared a notifiable disease. In case of any doubt or any clarification, the state government shall issue necessary directions and clarifications 